Hello everyone, and welcome to the next Quantpedia Explains video series. We will speak about the ETF replication report and show you how it allows you to perform model portfolio synthetization. Exchange-traded funds or ETFs are often viewed as a more liquid alternative to funds. Investors can see the pros in low fees, tax efficiency, or easy diversification. A new ETF replication report by Quantpedia enables you to decompose your custom model portfolio into elementary investment factors using our state-of-the-art multi-factor regression analysis. This approach of decomposition is also used in the multi-factor analysis report, but the ETF replication report uses just ETFs as underlying factors. Therefore, it allows you to find which ETFs you can use if you want to passively replicate any third-party mutual fund, trading strategy, or custom portfolio. The report consists of four charts. The first chart helps you identify your portfolio's ETF factor loadings for deeper insight into the primary risk and investment exposures. Then the second chart compares your custom model portfolio to the synthetic portfolio built from the recognized ETFs. The third chart shows the cumulative contribution of individual primary ETFs to the performance of your custom model portfolio. And the last one shows the cumulative performance of individual ETF factors. Furthermore, at the end of the report is a list of ETFs that we used as underlying factors for our report. Of course, the passive holding of ETFs can't replicate all funds and strategies, but if it's possible, our ETF replication report will uncover it for you. So if you would like to save fees and passively replicate any hedge fund, trading strategy, or other custom portfolios, then try our ETF replication report. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more, or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.